Here we are at the Ingres Museum in Montauban, just in front of the magnificent paintings of Jean-Auguste Dominique Ingres. Their precision, their colors, and above all their composition are just fascinating. This famous artist used a considerable quantity of drawings to build his paintings, which he changed constantly according to his extravagances. But contrary to the artistic techniques of his era, it was necessary for him to draw using a quick process, neatly and extremely precisely, but also solid and modifiable when he wished. His secret, the modern graphite pencil. Everything started in Cumberland, England in 1560, when the only pure carbon graphite mine in the world, in a natural environment, was discovered and used as black chalk. This mine supplied all of Europe, but the blockade against the English, imposed by Napoleon at the end of the 18th century, obliged France to look for an efficient substitute. And so, in 1795, Nicolas Conti invented the modern graphite pencil. Containing crushed French graphite, it is mixed into white clay, then cooked and inserted into a wooden stalk. It is a precise and flexible tool, and affordable. This pencil was quickly used by a number of French artists from this period. David, Delacroix, Jericho, but above all, Angre. To create his monumental paintings, Angre needed to compose and to decompose his drawing studies regularly. On smooth, grain-free vellum paper, as opposed to rougher laid paper with a grain, he began creating a composition made up of several individual studies that he cut out and then put it back together. The graphic precision of the graphite pencil allows him to quickly adjust details and to erase the non-essentials without distorting the drawing. By soaking some vellum paper, or laid paper, with oil or varnish, Angra obtained transparent tracing paper, which allowed him to modify his composition to make it more coherent. Once the drawing was finalized, he finished by transferring it onto a big canvas using the squaring up technique, which allowed him to keep the proportions precise. The painting process could then begin without having to go back over the drawing later on. Angra attached major importance to the drawing phase and knew how to use his tools and artistic supports to his advantage and in full revolution. It was so that he became the artist of whom his masterpieces are renowned for this madness of a straight line.